Good morning everyone, I am Abel A. Mante. For today's video, I'm going to share my overview in teaching multi-grade classes. What is multi-grade classes? A multi-grade classroom refers to the class that has two or more grade level of children in one classroom. A multi-grade classes also called a multi-age group. Multi-age is term commonly used today to describe mixed age group. Multi-age grouping may be implemented for institutional or pedagogical reasons for the administrative of the school, but the outcome is that students are able to interact across age groups and have long-term relationships with other students and the teachers. In a multi-grade middle school program, Students from more than one grade level learn side by side. The oldest students eventually move on and are replaced by a new group of younger students each year. Multi-grade class has advantages and disadvantages for the teacher and students. The advantages first is the student performance. Students can develop healthier social relationships, positive attitudes, and enhance leadership, organizational, listening, sharing, and many other important skills. Second, easy to use. Teachers can create effective syllabus and curriculums, plans for students. The third, improve learning, problem solving, higher level thinking, and learning methods develop at an earlier point with multi-grade classrooms simply because of the immersion experience that brings students together. Lastly, student-teacher relationship. A single teacher or the group of teachers responsible for the multi-grade classroom typically stay with the same students until they graduate to the next level. This garners the opportunity for students to work with the same teacher for several years instead of having to meet new teachers at the beginning of each new school year. The disadvantages, multi-grade system is difficult to implement in large schools with heavy population. Textbooks in use for teaching only meet the need of monograde teaching schools practicing multi-grade teaching often suffer from inadequate material resources.